Hey everybody and welcome back to the Outer Worlds. Hope you're doing uh, doing well. Last time we um, cleared out the community center, uh, delivered the medicine off to Esther Blaine, and um, now we're heading to the geothermal plant, which is right here, to see. Um, oh, we may need to equip our. There we go, because there's robots here. Robots. Mechanical Guardian Mark 1. Now, let me have a look what our journal says. So, uh, taking a auto mechanical. Do we want to even try retrieve a logic module for one of the auto mechanicals? Okay. And then, three volumes, fine. Fistful of digits. Uh -huh. We've just got to collect Doc Maybells, which is up a little bit further past the uh, plant. Uh, oh, okay. I forgot about that one, actually. It's off that way. Just go do that one first, actually, because um, I kind of feel like the geothermal will be... I don't want to say the, the end, but I feel like it because it's the main quest, I'd rather go and do a little bit of the side quest first. So maybe we'll go do this, and then we'll go and do the um, uh, Doc Maybell. And then see what... Uh, and then go to Geothermal from there. So yeah, I hope you're doing well. I hope you guys are enjoying uh, the Outer Worlds. I know a lot of you have said in the comments that you are. Um, which is cool, it's good. Um, I kind of felt like, um, so far, I mean, that is annoying that I can't get in there. So you would need to jump and then roll in from there. I saw that in um, a little thing. Anyway, so, ooh, okay. So we've got Marauders. Okay. <clears throat> Nothing behind us, is there? No. Uh, Marauder Goon. I love, I love sniping. I probably need to put her on a little bit more defensive. But it does work quite well in snitches like she takes the hits, not me. <laughs> Which is kind of fine. I do like this hunting rifle though. A light machine gun, though. We have not seen one of those before. Uh, fine. God, what am I doing? Light machine gun. Um, ooh, 320 DPS. That seems good. Let's switch it for the... My luck, there's been nobody in here to murder. Okay, it's got there today. Corporate ordered me to relocate to Edgewater Cannery, effective immediately. It's a shame I was looking forward to running my own gift shop at the community center. Senior Mayor of Memory, which tells us things have happened. Reason work fortifies the burial. That's my book collection. I can't bear to part with it. I don't see this book while so I stashed them away in a cave over by the river. Okay, makes sense. Ooh, yeah, jackpot. It's the poo area. Clement Eldridge. Uh, director of placing colonial system. The board of frontier oh, that gives you hands. Okay, uh, of course, it's the whole heart of the whole for the real venture. Okay. Interesting. So he had some ideas about maybe Earth not being the center of the the galaxy or universe or whatever as a lot of people may think. Hmm, okay, what's down here? Ah, oh, it's like a back way to get in, I guess. So again, you probably wouldn't have to actually shoot anybody. You can just make your way up. Um, okay, it's over there. Interesting. You can have a little 
back in here as well. Never anything in the toilets. Don't know why I'm still looking. Bit of pre-sliced bread in the fridge. Let's have a look in this little place over here. Anything? We've got a crate here. Plasma rifle. Hello. What's that do? Oh, it's an energy weapon. Burns. Is this this one? That one does like. Okay, charge up for a bigger attack. Gotcha. Not sure if I want that for now. Um, but that is interesting to use. I haven't leveled up in a while, actually. I assume it's like most RPGs where you um, it, it goes pretty quickly to begin with and then suddenly like starts to slow and slow and slow makes sense huh how funny we were literally just here Ooh, that's a mine. Easy. Tarmac and cheese. We're getting a lot of these mods. Zero G brew. Ooh. further down into this side this cave okay. uh, sorry oh I see it just comes out the other side interesting there's some pri oh, primals there uh, Stay right there. Oh, shit oh god I mean, they don't seem to. They don't seem to like this gun, do they? Obviously, energy weapon's pretty good against these guys. Oh shit! The bed. Okay. <laughs> well, at least we know we can take them on. The energy weapon is pretty good against those things, by the looks of it. Ooh. Scale muscle adreno simulator. Increase your type movement speed for a short time when you enter tactical time dilation. That sounds very interesting. Um, right, so we can give that back to the doc. Oh, uh, the reverend, sorry. And then we need to go and kill the doc. Um, yeah, Doc Maybell, why can I hear them, oh they're there, you know we don't need to fight them, so <laughs> we don't have to fight them, we can move around, there's no problem there, I think we do this, we go back to um, the town, hand it all in, and um, or shall we do this and then go to the geothermal? Well, that makes more sense because we'll have to go back to town at some point. Unless the problem is, if we do cut the power from the town, will they be in town to give us the rewards? That's why I kind of figure that I should do that. Do it first, if you know what I mean. Um, he's he's up there. How do we get up there? Do we go up here and then round? I don't think so. 
think we need to go around past the back of the geothermal. Well, the way that was just literally left there. <laughs> Random. So we've got our light machine gun, bolter, oh that's our zappy pistol. There's a back entrance as well, that's interesting. Oh, what are they? Oh wait, they're, they're hostile? Like, get the hell out of here. He's up there. I don't know what is there. Marauders. Let's see what we've got here. Looks like he's in a cave. Where is he? There he is. I'll wait till he comes out again and just pick him off. Might be easier than alerting everyone to our presence. Here he comes. <coughs> wait for him to get out of here and then stop. Holy shit, this is a gun and a half, isn't it? Oh, shit, Pivati, sorry. <laughs> oh, that is a gun. It has like zero uh, blood on a stick. This is his little hideout. Times barrel. We got so many of those whisper quiet mods. We really should attach them now. I didn't. I thought they were a bit rarer than they probably were. Um, right. I want to have to look at look at this town just behind the. Uh, Oh no, I didn't even look. Idiot. I think I saved it just before we got in there. Kind of really watch out for that. Get behind some cover. <clears throat> Not a peep for me. 
and spaces choice settlement discovered. Here we go. Nice one. It's a bit better. Nearly got him. Yay! Leveled up. Chances of us getting inside any of these places sealed. Not good, I guess. All right, skills. So we we need to get our dodge to twenty. There we go. We can do the forward dodge ability to leap. Um. to 20 so that we can tinker yep that's definitely what we want and there we go perks we haven't been using time dilation I really need to use that Maybe just fifty percent more health would be twenty uh, percent lower prices. Maybe I think that. Yeah. She didn't level up, no? No. Sorry, Pavati. Uh click. Oh yeah, see. So now we could get that stuff. Oh, there's a vending machine, that's useful. This one. Doesn't appear to be a lot in here, though. Maybe this was just literally a bad settlement. Ooh, thank you. That's a heavy machine gun. It's been quite generous with the old weapons, definitely. Not so that much. It's just more of a... Let's have a look at the heavy machine gun. 400 DPS. Uses heavy uh, uh, ammo though, which we don't have a huge amount of. Probably use a light. Keep using the light one for now. This is a uh, does bleed special effect. It's not really very useful for us, I don't think. Oh, the one thing I uh, will say though is they said something you need to turn on in your UI is show base armor stats. No, you want it because then you want it to show you increased with your um, skills 
that makes sense. Yeah, okay. That's the geothermal plant. We were going to avoid that for now. Get back to town. I think I've been this way before. It's primal, 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 primal. So de there's some dead bodies down there, though. stuff. Got so many of these. Don't want to repair that to be honest. Uh, I can break that down. I don't need that. 96 of 110. We're good. We could just jump in from there, couldn't we? Do you know what we're going to do? We're just going to use fast travel for once. Why not? I usually never fast travel, so... I'm fine with that. Um, right. We want to speak to the dock. And the constable, sorry. I'm still a little bit ill. Uh, but feeling a lot better. scary from outside. Something to report. We pay by the finger. What do you have for me? Oh, I've got three fingers. Gil Antrim. Real name, Guillaume. Duly processed by a freelancer on behalf of Spacer's Choice. I remember him. I was just a kid last I saw him. Shame. I'll just need your signature here, 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 and here. Got any more fingers for me? Yeah. Ooh, they're giving us 500 for a finger. Burgess. Age 37, right or left-handed. Let's just say no longer applicable. I remember Doc Burgess. Conducted my physical every fiscal quarter. Guess she couldn't keep her hands off her patient's medicine. Still one outstanding bounty. If you've got a finger, I've got the paperwork. Uh, Here we, we are, Birdie Cotton. Cause of death. Let's just say overwhelming physical trauma. Bert was the local preacher before Max took over. Always was quick to remind us that we all get what we deserve in the end. Well, that's all three. I must remember to requisition some more fingerprint to ink. Here's all the compensation you've earned, plus a bonus. Okay. What's this? Junior Deputy Constable. You've done such a bang up job hunting down our former workers that I thought it only proper to advertise you. Congratulations. So, how many of your people end up marauders? Let me stop you there. It is official Spacer's Choice policy that all marauders, regardless of prior affiliation to the Spacer's Choice brand, no longer qualify as I see. our people. Uh, that doesn't really answer my question. Marauders are folk who lost the will to keep working. Wandered out into the wilds and gave into their baser instincts. Not everyone's cut out to work in Edgewater. Some turn deserter, some turn marauder. None of them get my sympathy. Um, draw, uh, they seem to. Uh, I want to work a shot himself, Eugene, I think. Uh -huh. I recall young Eugene. Good kid. Nice smile. Fussy about his health, though. Took a little too much Adrena time. That'll do a number on your brain matter. Says so right on the warning label. Violent psychosis is a well-documented and legally accounted for side effect of Adrena time. Something else I wanted to What's ask you. Uh, nothing, apparently. <laughs> uh, cool. Okay. We just got a ton of money. Uh, 
but um, let's go to this, um, let's go sort of this, yeah, geothermal plant. I think it's about time. Just thinking if we should maybe have put in one of those mag things in another one of our weapons, but uh, yeah, we'll use the pistol for a bit. Silas. We've talked to Bavarti in a while. Where are we headed? Uh I mention your dad a lot, but never your mother. That's on account of how I never met her. Uh you mean she's dead? I don't rightly know. Oh. She was in another division of the Spacer's Choice family. She worked in the Vale a few months sorting the cannery computers. Her contract said any kids she had, expected or not belonged to her office from the time of conception. So when I was born, I got sent here. Interesting. Uh, is that normal? I don't know about normal. Dad said she worked under some kind of special contract. It's sensible. Dad just fixed machines. She did some kind of crazy math, high-level stuff. Better to raise me on his time than hers. Okay. Thomas seems very fond of you. He's just interested in fixing stuff. He always used to follow me around, asking me to explain what I was doing. Like a puppy, kinda. I've not lately seen a man with a bigger or more obvious crush. I'm just glad he's alive. That he's okay. I mean, when Mr. Thompson said he was fired, we all expected the worst. If he wants to learn about engineering, we should help him get those data pads he wants. I'd like to do that for him. We will. Um, it's something I wanted to ask about you about. The mission being too clean? Is it supposed to be clean? It's a church. I know, but Vicar says the universe is a machine, that it runs by law. Real machines have gunked up oil, scratches, and worn bits. You can tell they've seen handling, been used by folk. The machine Vicar sees is one that ain't never been run. It, it's not for people to live in. It's something on a museum shelf. Oh, we need to hand in the thing, don't we, to him? You're a mechanic. Whenever you see a machine, it's in need of fixing. Oh, yeah, I guess it is an ideal. It just comes off cold to me, is all. Um, the bar you asked if I was a drinker. Sorry. I know it's none of my business. Um,. I really guess you're not drinking yourself. Makes me sick. And it makes me real sad. I start thinking about things I oughtn't, and then... Well, never mind that. You've got better things to think on. Sorry. Don't apologize. Oh, that's what I do. Real tired of it, too. <laughs> um, why aren't you allowed in Moreau's store anymore? There was a, a kind of a thing, the vending machine, when I was 12. Did you steal from it or something? Not intentionally. I've always been good with my hands, right? So I saw a lock on the machine and thought, oh, this must be how they refill it. But I had to know. So I did my thing. And next thing I know, there's a couple hundred bottles of zero G rolling out the front door and into the road. Uh, I can see how that went up, says it. That's a chuckle. So funny. It is funny. Right about then, a bunch of loaders came rolling in the gate, fresh off the salt tuna chips. And Mr. Thompson was up on the porch, making a speech about how everyone would have to volunteer a third shift to get it all canned. Anyhow, you ever seen an auto loader run over a bottle of Zero G? Go on. <laughs> floated all over Mr. Thompson. One bottle after another as the loaders went by. I was just shy of working age, so Dad had to pay all the damages. And I was still angry at me. I can laugh about it now, but I just about puked up my guts in terror in the moment. That's the one time I ever made Mr. Thompson look a fool. Let's get back to it. To 
get back in though we go to the mission it's just a weird sign isn't it an employment community aye 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 Uh, what's the? I was just stick in the journal, I guess. It'd be easier. Uh, there it is. Ha! Huh. Any progress on that matter we discussed? Yes, yes, there is. Got your book right here. Wonderful. This is fantastic. Well worth all the sacrifices I... Wait. What the fuck is this? Is this... French? I can't fucking read French. It's a law-forsaken joke is what it is. French. Ha! I was so high and mighty, preaching to the yokels about following the plan, while fighting it at every turn. You will never keep others from reading it, you just wanted it for yourself. Well, uh, yes. But I assure you, it was not for personal gain, only for the greater good. I've spent my life searching for the keys to unlocking the secrets of the universal equation that underlies the plan. I had hoped this book held some of those answers. I became so desperate, I even got myself assigned to this plague-ridden backwater to find the damn thing. All the time and suffering I've spent. Wasted. Uh, at least you have your mission work here to give your life a meaningful purpose. Please. As if my life should have no greater <laughs> meaning than a I knew it wasn't for real. Feeble minded wretches. Nothing could be more excruciating than discussing the true nature of reality with people who have no interest beyond their next Aether Wave program. But that's neither here nor there. What I need to do now is to find a translator, obviously. But to do that, I'll first need to secure transport. You have a ship. Perhaps I could make myself of use to your crew. Sure. Certainly. I already gave you most of my money, but I can offer you free spiritual counseling, and I'd be happy to watch your back. I'm pretty handy with a toss ball stick, or any blunt instrument, really. I'm also a passable gun hand if it comes to that. I can usually talk my way out of conflict, though. Okay. Oh, I'm fairly competent at hacking computers as well. I'm sold. Sounds good. That whole part of your vicar train? Well, Understanding computers is, though I admit I took it further than most. And I was quite the 32nd back during my seminary days. <laughs> Left many an opponent bleeding on the field. Uh, <laughs> he isn't. So, I'm just going to say this guy. Let me get my things in order and I'll catch up with you. Good. Bridgewater's going to miss you. Folk here always had good things to say about their vicar. Thank you, Ms. Holcomb. I'll be glad for the change of scenery and to leave this place behind. I shall see you on the ship, Captain, whenever you're ready to leave Emerald Vale. Well, we need to sort our ship out first, but yeah, good stuff. We've recruited the vicar. How that's going to work out, I have no idea. Um, let's go and put some mods on our guns. I've been feeling pretty low these days. Oh, and we can tinker now. Oh, we can increase the damage of it. Oh, okay. Absolutely. Nice. Let's repair it as well. Um. This doesn't need repairing, does it? Well. Kind of. Oh, okay. We have another one of those for. Uh,
We'll be fine. <coughs> oh, sorry about that. Do still have that just a kind of like little annoying tickle. Cantina specials. Day old salt, tuna, two bits off. I knew there'd be something around here. It was just it was too good for there not to be something around there. Right, let's go to the geothermal plant. Manta Queen. Yeah. Can't wait till we have to fight one of them. So I was thinking in this playthrough I'll mostly do like guns and then probably in like the next one I'll I'll play around more with melee stuff. Um I think that'd be fun. Okay, there's brutes around there. We know about that, we just follow the river. Rocks in the river, so Constable Reyes ticketed me for unlicensed terraforming. <laughs> unlicensed terraforming. She don't know how to skip rocks or anything. <laughs> so I'd like to go over there as well. Have a look at all that red stuff. But we'll do the geothermal first. Oh shit. Back round to the river. Oh, not actually to the river, but... Oh, there's that thing. We can actually get into it now. Now we have the forward roll. There's a lot of dead marauders around, isn't there? I don't know if they ever reset. I assume they may probably do when you leave the planet, I'd imagine. God, I'm literally stuck. <laughs> okay. So I think it's maybe from this rock here. Ah, oh, first time. Nice. Oh, Vati, you made it as well. That was good. That's a bit with the hole in the wall. We could we could make that now. Let's try that. Might as well we're here now. Might not be here again. Shit. I really screwed that one up, didn't I? So we have the geothermal, we have the front entrance, we have the back entrance, we have a possible side entrance. What have we got here? Combat drone. Doesn't sound good, does it? We're going to have to fight him anyway. Might as well try and find somewhere that we've got some sort of... Um, unless we can sneak up and maybe that passcode like, disables them. That's what I'm thinking we can sneak in the front entrance well not sneak in the front entrance but sneak up to the front entrance okay I think we might have to get into oh there's a there's a gear here. here we go. Nice one.
Okay. Um. Oh boy. Okay, took that guy out. Oh, took him out too. Pavati's back up. Well done. Guess my stealth approach don't quite work. Should we hack this? Some security fences. Excellent. A few recent logs. See if there's any more. There is two more over there. Scientists. Vending machine. Dead robot here. Vending. Dead scientists. <laughs> Looks like you can get onto the roofs. Oh, we're over encumbered. Um, we can break this down. Break it down. Don't want to break the rest of it down for now. Oh, though we don't need two grenade launchers. That's for sure. Oh, you could climb under there as well. Seems like multiple entry points, basically. That's good to know. I like that so far about this game. It's, uh. Yeah. So I might do. I'm, I'm thinking I'm, I would quite like to do a. That's nice. a um, supernova playthrough at some point um, so I think once you get a feel for the game I, I think it would have been difficult to at the beginning I, I kind of tested it out a little bit and I was a bit like yeah this might be a bit annoying for people um, holy crap God, I've got so much armor as well. We'll leave the, the pristine ones, we'll sell them. I think I might. No, I didn't break down. I really equipped it. There we go. Right. Bet and this is full of horrible things that want to murder us. I think it, it will be, but we're going to finish up here, I think. <laughs> Still next time, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.